Alright, what's going on guys? So, uh, I did a project today and I forgot to, to film it. So I'm going to kind of do a walkthrough right now. So basically what I did is the, uh, the Jeep. I was going to go fishing this morning, couldn't do it, got in the Jeep, clutch goes all the way to the floor. All right, clutch goes all the way to the floor, can't shift it into gear. What could it be? So, check the, uh, the master cylinder for the, the clutch, and it's out of fluid. Did a little bit of inspecting and convinced myself, yes, that is exactly what the problem is. Um, went down to AutoZone, got one. It was about 45 bucks or so, and it took about 30 minutes to put in. Uh, whenever you do this, you're going to need... A few things. Obviously, you need the new master cylinder. You're gonna need some brake fluid. For me, I used about half a half a can of brake fluid. And then, as far as tools, all you're gonna need is a half inch wrench or a half inch, you know, socket, and then a quarter inch uh, wrench. That way, you can do the bleeding and a pair of pliers. Uh, other than that, hammer and something to use as a punch. We'll get to that. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and I'm going to show you how to take everything off, how to replace it, and uh, we won't be actually doing it today. Like I said, I've already done it and I forgot to record, so uh, let's get started. Alright, so this is a 93 Jeep Wrangler. Uh, this is the four-cylinder, excuse the mess, and it is a little bit hard to, uh, to film, but right here is your clutch pedal. If you go to the top of the clutch pedal, let's see if we can get it in here top of the clutch pedal right here you're going to need to take this pin out uh, this pin comes out and this black piece of plastic you can just pop it off once that's done you'll come around to the front and this is the master cylinder for the uh, for the clutch right here so you've got a half inch bolt here and a half inch bolt right down it's kind of hard to see but it's directly under it so right here here there you go so here and here those two you'll take those out once those come out it's gonna be really difficult to show but once those two come out you have this line right here so you'll pull this out through the through the firewall and there's a little pin uh, let's see yeah you can see it right here um, you're gonna use a punch and a hammer to punch this out so uh, Punch that out, put the new one in, reverse the process, and you're good to go. Um, once you get done putting everything together, you'll fill that reservoir up with your fluid. Come underneath the Jeep, and this is what you're going to use to bleed it. So, it's easier if you have two people. My dad was over helping me today. You'll crack it open, bleed it. You do that four or five times till there's no more... Uh, no more fluid coming out, and then you're done. So, like I said, it took about 25 30 minutes to do the whole project. It was pretty dirty, and there was some rust in there, but uh, overall, that's it. All right, uh, if you enjoyed, let me know. If Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and we do have some more DIY projects coming up soon. Thanks.